Guy Seiko, how is West Shore doing here at the grade school state championships OAC 2018? Hey, we're battling. I think we're in second place right now. We're sandwiched in between Burnett and Palmer. Not a bad place to be. Well, north, two north, well, a central Ohio, but a northeast Ohio guy, and then everything else is northeast Ohio about those clubs, right? Yeah, there's probably like 800 points we score, score between those three clubs right now. That's pretty incredible. That's a lot of points. Wait, how many points? What, what's, what's, you're in between Burnett, so they're in third. You're in second. Palmer's, Palmer's probably going to win, right? Oh, yeah. He's got probably, he has over 100 point lead right now. He has it wrapped up. But we're talking, let's talk about second. Let's talk about second. How many head to heads do you have with Burnett? Too many. We have too many for my liking. I got like a 40 point lead and I'm holding on tight, but we got some tough matches coming up here. You got Burnett, little Burnett versus the guy that beat him in the district final. Who's little Mazer, Burnett and Mazer, and that I will probably survive that match. So I don't know what the heck happened the rest of the day here. That's okay. gonna be a battle. Looking at the level of wrestling here, man, the Division Three here I think is it's comparable to the Junior High in my opinion. I know Junior High is the crowning achievement in OAC yeah. for you. You know we've talked about this before, but what do you think of the level of competition today and? You know how they run the tournament and how it's special to the kids and it's, it's big time here right oh it's this is the best i mean oac does a great job these guys are professional they they really lay it out couldn't be any happier with, with the way the tournament is run i mean you come down here you're here you're coming here to battle these kids are tough they want to fight they want to they want to win matches a lot of kids crying a lot of kids celebrating and the, and uh the technique level is just going through it there's a lot of good guys i talked to tommy rollins in the back you know just national champion rolling around with him a little bit and even he's impressed with the level of the, the coaching at this at this level with these kids it's phenomenal joe williamson asked me about that you know he's interviewing brian dolph i go hey first off you know brian dolph was dave schultz's training partner when dave schultz did his comeback and won the world and then he was coach and mentor to brandon slay who beat him to get on the 2000 olympic team right i go we've got We've got dozens of guys like that. You know, when you look at the level of coaching, you got your Brian Dolphs. You yeah. know, you got your Dave Riggs's of the world, yourself, Eric Burnett, Michael Zicky. I see all these guys walking around. Palmer, right? Our level of coaching is incredible. Why do we have such high level of coaching here in Ohio in the youth, at the youth ranks? Yeah, I just think Northeast Ohio has always been tough, just developing wrestlers. And you know, these are my second generation guys. I mean, I'm getting beat by Palmer, but Palmer's one of my guys. So I guess you really can't get too upset when you're getting beat by somebody you coached. You know, so it, it, it's it's almost, and don't think this, like I'm comparing myself to Gable, but it's almost like the Gable effect in Iowa. You know, look how many um, D1 programs are affected by Dan Gable. You know, they're all over the place. And, and now we see the second generation of coaches coming through, and they're really good coaches. You know, and then, you know, we talk defense soap a lot. You know, your defense soap, you're, you wear a lot of caps. You wear a lot of hats. Wear you got to hats. put the police officer cap down, though. That one's gone. That yeah, one's gone. On you're shelf. retired. You're done yeah. with that, right? But now you're, a, you know, a lucrative businessman, a high-end, you know, youth and, and, you know, middle school coach. How do you split all this? How is defense soap able to flourish how it is? And you give so much time to wrestling, too. How do you do it? Defense soap flourishes because we are wrestlers. Uh, number one, are you going to be a wrestler at anything? You know, my competition, ever, and whenever my competition pops up, I'm going at them with both barrels as if I was on the mat with them. You know, I'm going after them. So business, I'm always going to be aggressive in. But the, the business works because of the wrestling. If it wasn't a wrestler, if it wasn't for wrestling in itself, you know, I, I wouldn't be in the business. So they all work together. One hand washes the other, as far as you're saying, is with wrestling yeah, and no pun know. intended, right? <laughs> no, no, no pun intended. But what's new with the Defense Soap? We're going to uh, see you guys around this summer a little bit. What are you guys doing? What new products you launching? What are you guys doing with Defense Soap? We, believe it or not, I'm glad you asked. Um, April second, I'm I'm launching the very first ever FDA approved antifungal bar of soap. There's never been a bar of soap on the market that you could actually use to wash a fungal infection away. Our soap is holistic. It does a great job. But we cannot say the FDA approves it. We are now FDA approved. We have a fantastic product coming out. You can find it'll be right next to Tenactin and Actate and all those. It's, are you serious? It's over-the-counter medicine. It's our first really big, big move. But it's still branded for wrestlers. And we're going to brand it always to wrestlers. We're probably going to be sending some of that with me this summer across the country, aren't we? Yeah, we'll send you both because this is medicated. This is if you are infected, this is what you're going to use. And you use my other soap just for prevention. All right, man. Give it to me one more time. Offense wins titles. Offense wins matches. Defense keeps you on the mat. All right, man. Defend what you built. Good luck tonight in the finals. You got anything else for me, guy? No, thanks. You did a great job this year, Zeb. We really appreciate you bringing um, these matches to 
the, the wrestling world. I, I, it was a great service. I talked to the OAC guys. Everybody's really happy with what you've done. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guy.